hello guys my name is Nora Saha and today in this tutorial you will learn what is mean by slicing the string and how you can do that now before we start slicing the string first we have to understand what is a string we can say that a string is a collection of characters that are a string together and that character can be alphabet number or a special character that means if I have a variable a string equals to then a string is made up of all the individual characters and those individual characters are called element of a string each element has its unique number and to that number we call index so if i want to know the index of this t then i just have to start counting from zero that means zero one two three that means this t has an index of three and by using the index number we can also access this t so just we have to write the name of a string which is a string obviously then the index number 3 and if I hit enter it gives t but while doing this it will not change the original value of a string so as you can see we can work on this string without changing its original value now let's try to get this a for that we have to write this get the index of e 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so replace 3 with 7 and it gives e now let's see how we can access bunch of character instead of single character like how we can get this just for that we have a syntax first we give a starting index then ending index plus one at last a step the starting index of just is zero the ending index is zero one two three and plus one make it four and keep the step one and it give just now let's try to get this sum the starting index of sum is four The ending index is 5, 6, 7 and 7 plus 1 is 8 and we get sum. Now if I copy this and replace this with 0 and replace this with 2, it give this because when I assign two step then first it is start with zero which is j then jump to two step one two and get yes then again jump to two one two yes and again jump to two one two yum likewise step one means jump through one by one character so for every step one it jump through each character for the next scenario let's say i want every character after the just that means i want all this character we know we want everything from yes to the end so get the index id of yes which is 4 and by writing this 
we get every character after just or we can say we get every character starting from this sum now if we want to give a stay value here then we can do that by adding another colon and step let's say we want to step 3 and here it is in the similar way if we want just only what we write we write this right or we can write which give the same result in python if you want to reverse the string then you have to put minus in step and this is the reverse value of our original string for a small string counting an index value is fine but for a large string it can be miscount and give a wrong result so to make this a lot easier we take help from index method now if i want to know the index value of this u then i can write index then u and it gives 1 which is correct 0 1 now if i want to know the index value of this u then i have to be more specific so that python will know i am referring to this u and we can do that by writing u and c and it gives 9 now let's use this index method to get some buns to get some buns we have to get the index id of this yes and o the index id of yes is graphed from this code and the index id of o is get from this code and this is the starting index where this is the ending index and by using these two we get some bonds now to wrap up this tutorial we learn how we can slice the string how we can reverse the string and we also learn about index method and this is the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something from this tutorial and i will see you in the next tutorial with a small project